So sorry that I'm late. No, don't apologize. I'm amazed you were able to make it at all with everything that's going on. No, oh, I just need some distance, look at it with fresh eyes in the morning. I'm gonna put everything aside so I can enjoy every minute I have with you. Port Charles is a lot steamier than I thought. Clearly I've been running with the wrong people. Yeah, me too. If it wasn't for Double Jeopardy, this book could put people away forever. So, if you're not hanging with the uh, colorful criminal element of Port Charles, who do you run with? Oh, I'm actually quite wild. Are you now? Yeah. When my brother and I get together, we raise all types of hell. Such as? We get coffee, sometimes two cups, sometimes I don't even finish the first cup. Oh gosh, I've shocked you, haven't I? I'm scandalized. <laughs> I can't wait to read about it in volume two of this book. What about you? Who do you run with? Oh, I, don't know. I don't really run with anyone. More of a lone wolf. I could see that. You can. Oh yeah? From the first moment I laid eyes on you, I thought, wolf. <laughs> but I have an idea. How about, how about we, we run together? Metaphorically, unless you like jogging. I don't, but I do it anyway. And as for running together, not a bad idea. Can I take your coat? Oh, it's such a gentleman. I know, right? <laughs> it's not too cold or anything, is it? No, your radiator is working just fine. I pride myself on that radiator. I have to say, I have never appreciated Port Charles more than I do right now, after hearing Lucy Cow read from her book. Here you are. Plenty of uncrowded room for you to enjoy your meal in safety. And I'll just go eat in the hallway. You don't have to. I wouldn't have come back here if I were afraid of you. Good. Because I want you to feel safe with me. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> Thank you for making all of this so easy for me. Actually, you're the one making it easy. It's nice to be with someone so honest. What do you mean? It's just some people in my life have been uh, not what they seem. And with you, I feel like what you see is what you get. No hidden agendas or... <laughs> I just realized how unattractive it is to talk about exes on a date. <laughs> I, I don't mind. So much for being honest. I don't. I like hearing about other people's mistakes. Then I don't feel so bad about my own. She was one huge mistake in a series of catastrophic ones. It, uh, and it really did a number on me. I'm past it, but there's always a part of something like that just sticks with you, you know? Uh, do you know what I mean? That, that was a nice surprise. Yeah, for me too. And as nice of a surprise as that was, I want you to know that I... Yes. I don't think that I'm the kind of guy that thinks dinner or drinks entitles me to anything else. Because I like you way too much to want to rush into this or screw it up. If anyone screwed anything up, it's me. Why? I'm the one doing all the talking. Exactly. I've been letting you believe something that isn't true. And I want to set it right. I need to come clean. <laughs>